Um, hi? This is Earth. The planet's pretty peaceful because of Goku. Who's Goku? The guy who beat the Demon King, Piccolo. Who's Piccolo? You skipped Dragon Ball and went straight to Z, didn't you? Anyway, Earth is pretty chill right now. I really hope nothing crazy happens to ruin- Uh-oh, this alien guy looks like trouble. He uses his Google Glass to find strong guys. He finds Piccolo. He's gonna kill Piccolo. Who's Piccolo? That's your problem. Raditz's Ray-Bans tell him there's a stronger guy. Piccolo gets to live. Oh, hey, Goku's going to Kame House. The cast are having a reunion for the first time in five years. Everyone's there, except Yamcha, because he cheated on Bulma. And Ten Shinhan, because he's just a loner. And Lunch, who went chasing after Ten Shinhan, so no one has seen her in years. She's actually gone forever. See why I didn't mention her last time? Goku arrives at Kame House. Everyone's excited to see him. What's he holding? Oh no, Goku broke his grind set and had sex. Goku has a kid now. He's three? No, that's too young. He's four years old. Much better. He's named Gohan after Goku's grandpa. He's even wearing the four-star Dragon Ball that represents Grandpa Gohan. Touching. This reunion is wonderful. I hope nothing ruins. <laughs> oh right, him. Raditz reveals that Goku is an alien and that he's Goku's brother. Then he starts talking like he's doing a presentation on Saiyan history, but a lot of this stuff is kind of wrong. Raditz ends his TED talk by telling Goku to kill 100 people. He kidnaps Gohan for insurance. Piccolo reveals he was creeping on them the whole time. Want to team up? Sure. So they do that. Raditz detects a high power level. No, not their high power level. His high power level. Scouter must be broken. Raditz detects another high power level. It is their high power level. Oh god, it's not broken. Can't worry about that now. Goku and Piccolo are stripping. Their power levels are rising. Doesn't matter. Raditz beats up Goku and Piccolo. Piccolo loses an arm. Can't you just regrow that? Not now. It costs too much energy. More energy than the blood loss? Plot. Piccolo tells Goku to hold off Raditz. He can charge an attack to win this if he does. Goku gets Raditz's tail. Now he can't dodge the attack. I promise I will never do a bad again. Yeah, okay. Goku lets him go. Raditz kicks his ass. Goku's gonna die. No, 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 no. Raditz is weak enough for Goku to hold now. Goku is willing to sacrifice himself for his home and his child. He's not a hero, though. Goku and Raditz die. Piccolo gives exposition about the Dragon Balls. Uh-oh, the other Saiyans hurt him. They're stronger than Raditz. They'll be here in a year, and they want the Dragon Balls. Kami takes Goku to the afterlife to train with the Lord of Worlds. Time to run on a snake. Piccolo takes Gohan to train in a wasteland. The human fighters train with Kami and Mr. Popo. Goku learns the Kaioken and the Genki Dama. Gohan learns to fight and loses his tail. And Piccolo blows up the moon. A year passes. The Saiyans show up. Goku is running late. Turns out Piccolo is an alien too. Neat. Everyone has trained hard for this and is prepared to die. <laughs> Only Gohan, Krillin, and Piccolo are left. Nappa's gonna kill Gohan. Piccolo sacrifices himself for Gohan. Guess he was a good guy after all. Hopefully his sacrifice won't be wasted. Nappa's gonna kill Gohan. He's saved by the Kinto Un. Goku made it just in time to save two people. Goku cripples Nappa, Vegeta kills Nappa. Vegeta and Goku fight. Goku is weaker, but the Kaioken can multiply his power as much as the plot demands. Vegeta tries to blow up the planet. Goku blows up Vegeta instead. Vegeta is on the brink of death. Vegeta looks for the moon, but there's no moon. No moon, no monkey. Vegeta can make a fake moon though. Fake moon, real monkey. Goku's getting beaten really easily. Krillin and Gohan try to help, but they can't. Yajirobe saves the day and cuts off Vegeta's tail. Vegeta is still too strong. Vegeta gets hit by a spirit bomb. He's still too strong. He's gonna kill them all. Oh wait, Gohan's tail grew back. The fake moon is still around. Doesn't that mean... Vegeta cuts off Gohan's tail, but he gets crushed as Gohan returns to normal. Vegeta tries to escape, but Krillin is gonna kill him. Hey Krillin, could you not? Okay. Vegeta escapes. Earth is saved. How are they gonna revive their friends? Piccolo and Kami are dead. Piccolo and Kami were aliens. The other Namekians probably have Dragon Balls. Okay, time to go to Namek. Fix Kami's ship, but Goku's bones are Cheeto dust. Gohan, Bulma, and Krillin go to Namek without him. Uh-oh, there's a strong evil guy on the planet. Uh-oh, Vegeta gets there right after. They're after the Dragon Balls. Yikes. Goku's in a hospital still. Hey. Eat this, okay? Goku's fully healed. He wants to go to Namek. Bulma's dad made a spaceship. It can get to Namek in six days. Convenient. Goku trains and flies to Namek. Hey, Goku, don't fight Frieza. He'll kick your ass, okay? He lied. Gohan and Krillin save a kid. Vegeta beats up Namekians. Frieza's men beat up Namekians. Vegeta beats up Frieza's men. Krillin and Gohan have their potential unlocked by this guy. Vegeta steals Frieza's Dragon Balls. Oh no, five enemies are approaching Namek. Oh no, they're stronger than Vegeta. Wanna team up? Sure. They beat Goldo. They might be able to do this. Just kidding. <laughs> Goku arrives just in time to save them. He might be the Super Saiyan. That's what happens when Saiyans and humans have kids. Uh, forget I said that. The Super Saiyan is the legendary warrior that appears every thousand years. Goku's about to fight the leader of the Ginyu Force. Goku is way stronger. Mine now. Ginyu took Goku's body. He can't use it right though. Goku gets his body back. Ginyu is a frog. Goku needs to heal before Frieza comes back. They have all the Dragon Balls now. Where's Frieza? This is Nail. He's like the Piccolo of Namek. 
Frieza's kicking his ass. Gohan and Krillin try to make a wish without Vegeta realizing. Vegeta realizes. They get three wishes here. Wish Piccolo back to life. Wish Piccolo to Namek. Huh? He's on the other side of the planet. Should have been more specific. Vegeta wants immortality. Dende's about to give it to him. The Dragon Ball's turned to stone. The Grand Elder has died of old age. And Frieza stress. That'll be important later. Frieza shows up. He's not happy. Vegeta fights Frieza. They're pretty even. Piccolo meets Nail. They merge into one. Now he's stronger than Frieza. Frieza transforms. He's too much for Vegeta. Piccolo shows up. He's stronger than Frieza. Frieza transforms. He's too much for Piccolo. Nobody can stop Frieza. He transforms again anyway. Blast a hole through my chest. Okay. Saiyans get stronger when they recover from near death. Convenient. Heal me. No. Do it. Okay. Vegeta is stronger now. He can beat Frieza. Just kidding. Vegeta's gonna die. Goku arrives just in time to save him. Vegeta dies anyway. Goku's gonna avenge the Saiyans and the Namekians. He's not a hero, though. Goku and Frieza fight. Kaioken times 20 isn't enough. Even the plot can't go higher than 20. Goku tells Piccolo to hold off Frieza. He can charge an attack to win if he does. Piccolo gets beat up. Frieza gets hit by a spirit bomb. The day is saved. What could possibly go wrong? Uh-oh, Goku is mad. His hair changes color. He's the Super Saiyan. He's stronger than Frieza. Frieza is a sore loser. Time to blow up the planet, I guess. It doesn't blow up right away. It'll blow up in five minutes. Earth minutes? Namek minutes? Bullshit minutes? Plot minutes. Goku kicks Frieza's ass. King Kai makes a plan. Revive everyone on Namek with the Earth Dragon Balls. Guru gets revived because he died of Frieza stress. Send everyone to Earth with the Namekian Dragon Balls. Except for Frieza. And Goku. Why Goku? I want to kick his ass. So Goku kicks his ass. He tries to spare Frieza. Twice. I'd rather die. Okay. Frieza is dead. Namek explodes. Goku is dead. Or is he? Anyway, Namekians are on Earth. Their Dragon Balls came with them. Convenient. They only take three months to reset. They use them twice. Revive Tenshinhan, Chiaotzu, Yamcha, and Krillin. We want to revive Goku. He's alive. Teleport him here. He doesn't want to. Goku is learning how to teleport from aliens. Namekians get sent to New Namek with the final wish. Earth has peace. A year goes by. Uh-oh. There are two enemies approaching Earth. Uh-oh. They're like two Friezas. No one is strong enough to handle two Friezas. I am. Bop it! Pew! This mystery guy is a Super Saiyan. Goku's approaching Earth. The mystery guy talks to Goku. Mystery guy is from the future. His name is Trunks. He's the son of Bulma and Vegeta. Trunks says the Red Ribbon Army is still around. Androids will come in three years. Everyone will die in battle. Except Goku. He dies of a virus. Trunks gives him medicine. Everyone trains for three years. They meet up where the androids will appear. Oh no! Bulma broke her grind set and had sex. The androids appear. This is you, Kondo. He's Toriyama's editor. You know what editors like? Money. Make a villain that will increase sales. Okay. Too weird, too young, too ugly, too stupid. Perfect. In the story, Goku gets a heart virus. Vegeta is a Super Saiyan now. Android 19 is killed. Android 20 is Dr. Jiro. He wakes up Android 17 and 18. 17 and 18 wake up 16. They kill Dr. Jiro. 18 breaks Vegeta's arms. A monster eats a city. Piccolo merges with Kami. The monster is called Cell. He came from further in the future than Trunks. Cell wants to absorb 17 and 18. Goku wakes up. He teleports to get Gohan, Vegeta, and Trunks. They're gonna train for a whole year in a day. How? The Room of Spirit and Time. Don't you mean the hyperbolic time chamber? No. I mean the room of spirit and time. You used this room as a kid? Yep. So it's been there the whole time. Yep. Why didn't Kami have us use it for the Saiyans? Plot. Vegeta and Goku want to surpass Super Saiyan. They train with their kids. Vegeta and Trunks go first. Cell absorbs 17. He's semi-perfect now. Vegeta and Trunks exit. They surpass Super Saiyan. Goku and Gohan go in next. Vegeta can beat Cell. Want to see me get stronger? Yep. Vegeta lets Cell absorb 18. Cell is perfect now. He kicks Vegeta's ass. Trunks was hiding power. He might be stronger than Cell. Too slow, though. Cell can kill everyone right now. I'm gonna have a tournament. Okay. In 10 days. Cell flies off and makes an arena. Goku and Gohan exit. They're walking around as Super Saiyan. That's how they surpass Super Saiyan. Are you stronger than Cell? Prob not. Don't you want to train more? Nah. There are no Dragon Balls right now. Goku teleports to New Namek. He gets a Namekian to become God. It's Dende. He upgrades the Dragon Balls. They can grant three wishes now. Still can't revive people that already died, though. That's probably not foreshadowing. The tournament day comes. Everyone shows up. The first fight is Cell versus the current strongest under the heavens champion. Not him. Him. There have been some off-screen tournaments. Mr. Satan gets one shot. Goku's up next. Cell and Goku have a close fight, but Cell is winning. I quit. Goku tells Gohan to fight Cell next. So Gohan powers up to fight Cell. Gohan doesn't want to fight though. What Gohan says. I don't want to get mad and kill you. What Cell heard. Want to see me get stronger? Yep. Android 16 tries to blow up on Cell. He forgot that move. Cell destroys 16. He tries to make Gohan mad. It almost works. Mr. Satan throws 16's head to Gohan. 16 tells Gohan to beat up Cell. Cell kills 16. Gohan snaps. He's an ascended Super Saiyan or something. I'll name that later. Gohan kicks Cell's ass. Kill him, Gohan. Nah, I'm good. Cell spits up 18. He's semi-perfect again. Cell uses self-destruct. The end is here. 
Huh? I can teleport, though. Goku sacrifices himself to save his son and his planet. I promise he's not a hero. Uh-oh, Cell is alive. Uh-oh, Cell powered up like Gohan. He kills Trunks. Vegeta is mad. He charges Cell. Cell's gonna kill Vegeta. Gohan saves him. It costs him an arm. Gohan's a half power. He can't beat Cell. Yes, you can. Cell is defeated. Use the Dragon Balls to revive everyone. Goku can't be revived. They could probably go to Namek again, but he chooses to stay dead. Threats come to Earth because of him. He's kind of right. Gohan takes over for Goku. He's the protag now. I'm sure that'll last. Trunks goes back to the future. He saves the future. I'm sure that'll last. Seven years pass. Gohan's in high school now. He's the main character. He's a superhero. Oh no, this girl discovered Gohan's secret identity. She forces him to enter a tournament. This is Goten. He's Gohan's younger brother. He's a year younger than Trunks. Not that Trunks. This Trunks. They're both Super Saiyans. Gohan tells everyone about the tournament. Vegeta wants to fight Gohan. Goku wants to fight too. He's gonna come back to Earth for a day to enter. How can you do that? Stop skipping Dragon Ball. Vegeta wants to fight Goku now. Everyone trains. The tournament is here. There's a kid division. Trunks wins. Adult division time. There are some creepy guys like them and them, especially him. Piccolo forfeits. Videl gets beat up. Gohan gets his energy taken. Turns out the creepy guy is the god of gods or something. He's trying to stop this evil guy from reviving this monster. Everyone leaves the tournament to help. Vegeta still wants to fight though. Bobbity has the king of demons working for him. Isn't that Piccolo? Don't worry about it. Kibito gets killed. Piccolo and Krillin get turned to stone. Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta enter Bob Bobbity's ship. They beat up his men. Gohan fights the Demon King. They're pretty much even. Gohan slacked on his training. Vegeta gets mad. Vegeta gets his mind controlled on purpose. He gets a power up from it. Now he's working for Bobbity. Kinda. He still wants to fight Goku. So they do that. Gohan and Shin go to stop Bobbity. They're too late. Goku and Vegeta are both ascended Super Saiyans or something. I still need to name that. Their energy revives Boo. Vegeta realizes he messed up. He goes to handle Boo by himself. Boo kills the Demon King. Piccolo and Krillin are freed. Boo beats up Gohan. Shin barely saves his life. Toriyama thinks Gohan is hard to have as a main character. Let's try someone else. Vegeta's turn. He faces Boo. He can't win. He blows himself up instead. Boo is gone. Piccolo slashes Bobbity in half. The day is safe. Uh-oh. Boo is regenerating. He heals Bobbity. They go away and start killing people or whatever. Goku wakes up. He teleports to Piccolo. He finds out Vegeta is dead. Gohan probably is too. Goku learned how to fuse in the afterlife, but they were the only two people he could fuse with. There's no hope. Can't the kids fuse? They can. The sky goes dark. Bulma and the others are using the Dragon Balls. Vegeta killed people. They want to revive them. They revive every good person that died today. Kibito is revived. He saves Shin and Gohan. They go to Shin's planet. Goku takes everyone to the lookout. Goku teaches the kids how to fuse. Bulma needs her dragon radar. Trunks can go get it for her. Goku has to stall Boo. Goku shows every Super Saiyan form. Okay, I'll name it now. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, and a new one. Super Saiyan 3. He can beat Boo. Nah, I'll let the kids do it. Why though? Plot. Boo kills Bobbity. Goku returns to the afterlife. Gohan is still alive. Goku teleports to him. Gohan is training to kill Boo. Mr. Satan befriends Boo. They adopt a dog. The dog gets shot. Boo gets mad. Uh-oh. Boo's evil side and good side are fighting. Uh-oh. Boo's evil side absorbs his good side. The new Boo can sense key. He goes to the lookout. He wants to fight Goten and Trunks. Piccolo tries to buy more time. Don't you still have people you could kill first? Nope. Goten and Trunks fuse. They even learn Super Saiyan 3. It looks like they can win. Gohan saves them. He's stronger than Boo. How? He trained with the sword, broke the sword, an old guy came out of the sword, and the old guy unlocked his potential. Gohan is too much for Boo. I want to fight Gotenks. Why? Okay. Boo is stronger than Gohan. Goku shows up to save him. How? The old guy gives his life to revive Goku. He gives him some earrings. Now Goku and Gohan confuse. Gohan, catch! Boo absorbs Gohan. Now there's no chance of winning. Goku has no one to fuse with. Wait, now Vegeta is on Earth for his one day. Goku and Vegeta fuse. They kick Boo's ass. They don't kill him though. They get absorbed on purpose. They're gonna save everyone he absorbed. Even good Boo. Boo transforms again. He's a kid now. He tries to blow up the Earth. Wouldn't you rather fight us? <laughs> Goku, Vegeta, Mr. Satan, and Dende teleport away in time. Boo learned to teleport too. Goku and Vegeta could fuse and beat Boo right now. Nah. Goku turns Super Saiyan 3. He can't beat Boo. Vegeta stalls Boo so Goku can charge up. Goku powers down instead. Super Saiyan 3 kinda sucks. Vegeta has a plan. Use the Namekian Dragon Balls to fix Earth and revive everyone. Goku makes a Genki Dama. Mr. Satan tells everyone on Earth to raise their hands. Everyone is giving their energy. It's strong enough to beat Boo. Goku's too tired to push it. They still have one wish left. They use it to heal Goku. Goku hopes Boo is reincarnated as a good person. The day is saved. 10 years pass. I'm sure nothing happened. Everyone meets at the Strongest Under the Heavens tournament. Goku is a grandpa now. He meets Boo's reincarnation. They fight in the tournament. Goku wants to train him. They fly off together. A beautiful, ambiguous ending to the series. Oh yeah, DBZ has been huge for Toei. The anime has to end now. But you know what multi-million dollar companies like.
don't you?